Uh, hi everyone, uh, this uh, we have a uh, numerical study for the first phase of Mira Solar Well, a plant in Oman. This will be produced by Dr. Amani Jalil Al Husseini, University of Basra College of Engineering, Petroleum Engineering Department. Uh, the outline of this uh, project uh, abstract solar steam generation model, the system for phase one, methodology, and result. Abstract offshore oil and gas production utilizes several renewable energy techniques to meet its energy need and to enhance oil recovery. Using renewable energy can reduce fuel consumption and maintenance costs in upstream operation, in addition to reduce noise emission and improve safety. Renewable energy can also uh, reduce pollution. As an alternative to gas, to natural gas, solar thermal enhanced oil recovery utilizes concentrated solar power. For the Mira project in Amal oil field in one, solar energy was used to generate steam. Uh, Ten percent of the total steam are produced during phase one for this project. This is in this in this project or in this study, we present a computational simulation for the phase one Mira project only where a total or amount of heat required to convert 1,000 gallons of cold water to steam at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and 414.7 PSI was calculated. According to the results, the total steam injection per hour is about 637 with tons with uh, uh, about uh, 3. Point for a six forty six percent error percentage error for the Mira project. The construction of Mira project in ML oil field has three phases as I mentioned before. In this work only the phase one study and uh, as it has been completed and contribute ten percent of the total about. Uh, the total output for the whole Mira project is about six thousand tons while we here just speak about 10% of this amount. It is divided, the phase one is divided into four blocks, each blocks with um, four to five loops and uh, eight row, as we can see here in this, uh, in this picture. Here we have four blocks and each block contain four to five uh, loops and which contain eight rows. A steam injection it can be defined as the process of heating a reservoir by using or generating a steam. This, the generating for steam, can be happen at the surface or sometime inside the downhole to convert the oil from heavy to light. The higher the temperature, the lower the viscosity of the oil. Thus, the heavy oil, high viscosity oil, turns into light one with a low viscosity so that the oil mobility improve and uh, this will be also improve the efficiency of this week. This is a real picture from the Mira project um, uh, which can be see here. Uh, the total process happened, the, to the cold water can convert it by using uh, uh, a solar well, by using solar to the hot one and then can be used to generate the steam and then uh, can be used to inject in the heavy oil reservoir and then produce oil. And the calculation that we used, uh, the here we have just uh, the most important uh, equation that need to in this calculation. Uh, firstly, uh, we start with the solar part. So, uh, solar declination and call, uh, can be given in equation 1. Our angle can be given in equation 2. And the most important angle or equation that uh, in this, uh, in this uh, calculation is direct normalization. Here we have uh, IDN, which represents the direct normalization. Uh, and can be given in equation 5. Then we can also calculate the sine beta by using equation 6. Uh, in this picture, we can see the total heat transfer process that happened in the so, parabolic of collector. Here we have a parabolic of collector. This, uh, this parabolic part can, can convert or um, uh, use the sunlight and then reflect to the pipes. The pipes contain of the absorber part which uh, contain fluid, which here uh, we use uh, water, cold water, and then convert to the hot one, and then uh, covered, uh, which uh, uh, actually is, is um, um, a glass envelope. 
uh, here we can see that the total heat transfer happened between the between the environment and between the glass envelope and then between the glass envelope and then between the glass envelope and the uh, absorber bar also we can see here we have uh, uh, inner glass envelope and upper glass envelope and also inner uh, for the absorber and outer for the absorber for the above, above the thickness we can see that here so we can calculate the total uh, heat absorbed by the absorber part and by the glass envelope by using this uh, question uh, the result firstly we can need to uh, feed the, our, pro our program by the uh, some important um, uh, information that uh, happened in the 2017 uh, in Oman uh, actually this is the uh, can be take the maximum average temperature and the minimum one and also wind speed um, what we have been and what we what we found at the, at the list uh, here we have direct normal radiation for and its component for each month in 2017 and uh, here we can see that we have a direct normal which can be represented by the upper part and the uh, component for the direct normal and what I what I mean by the component of the direct normal I mean the uh, the uh, direct normal multiplied by the cosine theta cosine theta here is about the collect the collector that attract the Sun here they used just one dimension collector so the parabolic trap collector can be uh, tracking the sun by one dimension only and this can be happen and get by the lower part for the for this figure also we have can see here that we have for whole years january february march april may june july august september october november and december we have also here the uh, amount of the uh, uh, amount of the heat that uh, happened that absorbed by the absorber and the by glass envelope. We can see for whole years also. We can see that the upper part for represented the uh, absorber part and the lower part is represented the amount of heat that happened in a glass envelope. Also here for the whole years we can see all the months here for 2017. After that, we need to calculate the amount of the steam that can be produced from the whole process and the fourth just phase one. Uh, th there are three parts or three steps to calculate the amount of the steam that can be used to inject uh, to the heavy oil part. Uh, the first one, the, this uh, calculation can be uh, uh, or related, sorry, for the uh, amount of heat that used to convert cold water to the hot one, uh, to the hot one, and the step two is the amount of uh, the amount of heat that need to convert the hot water to the steam, to the totally steam part, and the last one here we use a, a nanograph to uh, ca to calculate the amount of the uh, to the amount uh, the amount of the heat for the superheated part uh, we can see and that we have the total steam injection after all calculation we found that the total steam injection is about uh, 637 tons while the total uh, steam injection that would use for phase one by Mira project is uh, 660 tons and if we can compare these two values we can see that there is a very reasonable uh, percentage of error which is equal to the 3.46% uh, and this is very reasonable and um, acceptable uh, percentage for error. Thank you very much for listening.